Quick review of the Olight S30R Bottom 3. What is a bottom in English and French? It's, it's, it's a bat. And I'm probably not saying it right. I had high expectation for this light. Uh, I got something for Olight. I've been working with those uh, since my beginning uh, here during 24, 360, I was using a shorter version. I think it's a S10. This works with a uh, 18, 650 battery. This is just perfect. 1000 lumens, super bright, uh, constant strobe, triple click, very easy to access. It's, it's beautiful, tiny, powerful light. The big question, does it fit inside a T12 if we use two of those? And the answer is, yeah, yeah. Well, you have to force just a little bit, but it works and gives you a super sturdy grip. That's, that's the thing I really liked about Hey, you might have seen this exact setup in Tube Series 2, like a year ago. I've been having those lights for a while. I'm sorry, Olight, I'm late at this review. They've been super kind with me to send me two units so I can do my test properly. I never travel with those because I, I still prefer my, uh, my Eagle Tac. And why I'm doing these reviews is mostly because Eagle Tac lights are so hard to find for a lot of you guys and Olight is available pretty much everywhere. So that's a good alternative. It's working great. As you can see, I, I was able to fit the two of those inside the tube, but it's a little bit tight. So if you're using white paper or color gel, you have to put those on the outside. So you have to glue or do, I don't know how you're going to do it, but like usually I put uh, my diffuser inside of the tube. So it makes things a, a bit harder. So um, I would use only these lights with nothing inside the tube, the grip. Okay, so that's, that's a big difference. Um, it's super sturdy and that's, that's because the head is a, is a bit bigger. And as the clip is very close to the head, that means that um, the tube is a bit longer, like the, the, the lights are not going very deep in the tube, but still it's super sturdy. I really love that. But the very interesting thing about this light is the duck. Yes, the duck. That's really cool. Especially for studio work. When you're done with the light, you just put it back on the duck. And then it charges. That's USB, so you need micro USB to power the duck. And you can chain so you can chain many of those together and it, it works, I, I tried it. So it's super quick to just put it back there. Very cool light for studio light painting. Did I forget something? That's it.